Hello friends. It is a very cold morning here in Alaska. It is in the 30s. It's about 37 degrees outside. It's crisp and cold. I have a really good friend. Her name is Andrea and she watches the channel all the time. Hi Andrea. And she is very special to me and she has a birthday. You might have seen Andrea in some other videos with me. She is an artist. She is amazing and it is her birthday. And I have been racking my brain of what do you get somebody who doesn't need anything? She is an amazing thrifter. She loves old things. She loves unique things. She's amazing at finding those kind of things herself. And I am not good at finding treasures <laughs> like she is. She just has an eye for really cool old jewelry and things. So what do you get for a friend like that? That is just so special to you. Well, I started racking my brain and then I remembered I had seen an Instagram ad for something really cool and something that an artist would really appreciate. So my goal today is to see if we can pull off an epic birthday present for a very special person and I will bring you along. Now I've been doing book report stuff all morning with Bennett and I had no time to get myself ready. So I am racing now that the boys are at school so that I can go and pick up Andrea. If I don't have time to wash my hair and it has gotten dirty and oily, I often put it up. This is my favorite updo for my fine and thin hair. Dividing it into different sections makes it appear that I have more hair. I start with some dry shampoo and then I tease the back and put it up with some bobby pins. Then I section off the two pieces in the front and leave those alone until the very end. Next I take the top section of my hair and gather it back into a bun. And then take the lower section and make a second bun on the back of my head. Lastly, I pull the front pieces back and secure them in place with bobby pins between the two buns. With a little bit of adjusting, I have my favorite updo. And it makes me look like I have a lot more hair than I actually do. Sometimes it takes a few more bobby pins to secure any loose pieces and a little bit of brushing and it's done. I've had a few people ask me about this hairdo so I figured that I would show it to you. Let's go. It is about 37 degrees this morning. This is our first morning where it's dipped down into the 30s. There's fresh snow up on some of the highest peaks. We are reaching the point in fall where it starts to freeze and things change really fast.
Happy early birthday. Thank you. <laughs> We're gonna head off on an adventure. Ooh. All right, we made it downtown. I don't come downtown very often. <laughs> this parking garage is really full. This is called the Denina Civic and Convention Center. Right, this is what we're going to. It's called Beyond Van Gogh. You excited? I am. Yes, I am. She is such an amazing artist. When I, when this thought came to my mind, I knew that we would really enjoy it. We were super excited to immerse ourselves in the art of Van Gogh. This experience consisted of three rooms. The first room had beautiful screens telling the story of Vincent's life. It explained his failed attempts at being an art dealer and a pastor and his erratic relationship with art. Most of the information gathered about his life and feelings were from letters he wrote back and forth to his brother Theo. This is one of the things that touched me the most throughout this exhibit, the tender relationship he had with his brother and how much support his brother gave him. He also seemed to have a great connection and appreciation for nature, which I connected to as well. After the information room, we passed through this swirling room of lights to get to the main exhibit. It was immersive and beautiful. The third room was the main room of the exhibit. When we walked in, it was full of self-portraits of Van Gogh. The eyes of the portraits blinked and some of them moved and it was really fun to be immersed in the art. The show runs on a 40 minute cycle with the art constantly changing all around you, even beneath your feet. There was music and a bit of narrative along the way. It was hard to know where to look because there was so much to look at. The art came to life around you. Because there was so much to take in, we ended up staying for two rounds of the show, just so we could get a better look at it all. Vincent Van Gogh saw the world so differently and it was very moving to be immersed in his world for a little while. What was your favorite part? Oh goodness. <laughs> just, <sighs> I don't know. Just that feeling immersed cool. in it. I yeah. think that was awesome. I loved the flowers. I loved when the flowers just like took over and I don't know, there were just too many good parts. I, I like agree. knowing that I'm like the only artist that can't figure out how to do my signature. That's <laughs> good. <laughs> There's lots of varieties. And I the flowers. Yeah. Oh. I felt very connected to the fact that even 
he he said he didn't know if he this was what he was supposed to be doing after doing it for so long I feel that sometimes and a lot of failures before success yes. all right we're gonna head to my favorite lunch spot which Andrea has never been to so I'm gonna go introduce her to sweet caribou's Sweet Caribou's is a local restaurant that serves grab-and-go salads that are amazing. They also have delicious sandwiches, desserts, and macarons. I could eat there every day and not get bored. We decided to split a salad and a sandwich and enjoyed our lunch, chatting and savoring all the delicious food. And of course we had to get some macarons. They had Harry Potter flavors for their anniversary and they were so delicious. So Andrea and I were eating across the road and we saw this place called The Dirty Apron. It is a culinary boutique plus a kitchen where you can come and take cooking classes. They have kids cooking classes, you can have corporate events. Um, it's gorgeous in here. So I'm just gonna show you a quick tour around because I'm in love. So this is the kitchen where you can come in and take cooking classes. Everybody comes around the island and helps with the cooking. It is just so pretty. And then you gather around this gorgeous table here and eat what you make. And then anything that's used in the class, you can then come over here and buy in their store. have this whole wall of different artisan olive oils. I was gonna say these look gorgeous, these signs. That looks phenomenal. I've always, I've always had these in my cart and I've never pushed by. My son's name is ben, Bennett, so I love that. It, and he's a baker, he loves to cook. And so, he is uh, 10. Okay, so he would not fit. Yeah. Hey, thank you guys for stopping in. We need this, Andrea. The complete salad cookbook. Well, I'm here to drop Andrea off and we are just feeling like that was the best day ever. Yes, uh, we've been eating our macarons from Sweet Caribou. They Yum. just get the flavor so right. I think my mouth is dyed red from that cherry one. We just like are like, oh, this one's the best, and then this one's the best. Oh, we'd be really in trouble if it was in our town if that was here. So, yes. happy early birthday! Thank We're just you. gonna be celebrating for the whole next week. So, this was a good start. Yeah. Thank you, Lauren. Oh, you're welcome. Well, I think we accomplished it. That turned into a beautiful day, even better than I expected. Van Gogh, Lunch at Sweet Caribou, and then that Dirty Apron store, so amazing and great company. One of the things I strive for in my life is giving good gifts. Um, I just love it when I get a good idea for somebody specific to that person, and I feel like today came together perfectly. I hope you enjoyed coming along. Thank you so much for being here. We love you, we're grateful for you, and we'll see you again real soon for more of This Alaska Life.